Right, we got three gears to make for the second shaft. Two 21 teeth gears, one 24 tooth gear. I'm going to make the 21 teeth gears first. As before, we've got to get the cutter. Well, this cutter here, we'll do 21 to 25 teeth. So I'm going to use that cutter and I'll be using that cutter for the 24 teeth gear as well. Then we've got to find out which dividing plate we're going to use. As before, I've got three plates. 15 to 20, 21 to 33, and 37 to 49. Right, so we're doing a 21 tooth gear, and I've got a 21 hold plate. There, look. So we use that. That's the plate I'm going to use. Now, we need to know how many holes or revolutions. So, the ratio of my dividing head is 40 to 1. Put that there. All right, and then we put the teeth number there. This is the teeth. It doesn't matter about the holes, but that's the plate we're going to use. 21 into 40 is 1. So if we put that one there, that means we're going to do one full revolution. And then that will leave 19. So if we put 19 there. And 21. Alright, so this is the... Now we're saying that that's 21 holes. So... 19 holes out of 21. So if you'll put your pin in there, cut that first tooth. So then you're going to do one hole revolution. Then 19 21s. So that'll be going around there. That'll be 19 20 21. So your pin will be in there then for the next tooth cutting and so on one whole revolution then 19 holes so let's get this set up on the dividing head right i got all this set up this is all parallel to the milling bed the cutter is dead center on the center of my blank so now when i cut, cut this first tooth Unlock it here, everything's done up tight, and then the dividing head will be spun one whole turn, and then what was it? 19 holes. Cut that tooth, slide that around, I mean, cut that tooth, and then it's one whole turn, 1921s, so on and so forth. Let's just move that back to zero. Where are we? There we are. Right. So I can get on and start cutting the teeth now. Here we go. I'm cutting half depth at 108 foul and then go around again at full depth of 216.
first two cut it half depth. And I'll just rotate it. Right, so it's one whole turn and 19 21s. There we are. There. Slide that round, lock that off. That's ready for the next tooth now. Just go on and cut the rest, you don't need to see that. Just cutting the last two fifths, half depth. Right, I'll just set the pin round here to zero again. Right. Back round to the first two I cut. Now I'll just move the uh, Cuts her to the full depth. Right, two hundred and sixteen five. Tighten up me. Right. So now I'm going to start cutting the teeth at full depth. Right, this first tooth cut, I'll just get on and cut the rest and get back to you. Right, that's the first 21 tooth gear cut. Let's get it off of there and we'll have a look at it. Right, that looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with that. Let's join it on the shaft. Right, and there's that 21 gear teeth on the shaft, meshing nicely with this, with the uh, third shaft gear. Good. And there are the two first gears on the second shaft. On the crank shaft, there'll be a gear which will slide on and mesh with this gear later on. So what I'm going to do now, I'll get on and cut the 21 gear teeth that fits over there. Right, here is the 20, 
one toothed gear on the other side. Next one I'm going to do is this 24 tooth gear, the sliding gear. So I'll get that set up on the milling machine. Right, I've got the gear blank on the dividing head. I'm not going to use the dividing plate this time as I've got a 24 tooth gear to make. I don't know if you can see there. That is a 24 hole dividing plate there. So I'm going to go and use what's called direct indexing. This little lever here. See that little plunger? It's lining up with the hole in the dividing plate. So I can lock that down, cut the teeth, rotate the handle till the next hole, put the pin in. It's worth a try. So I'll just start doing that. Right, let's start cutting the teeth. I'm going to cut them at half depth again. Here we go. Just loosen this clamp bolt, pull out the pin here, and rotate. Right, pins in the next hole, tighten that up, and start again. Right, so I'll just get on and cut the rest of these teeth and get back to you. Right, I've just cut full depth all the way around this gear. Let's take it out and have a look. Right, so here's a 24 tooth gear. I'm happy with how that's turned out. Let's try it on the shaft. Right, so here we've got all four gears cut on the second shaft. I've got a 21 tooth gear there, the sliding gear is a 24 tooth gear, this gear is a 21 tooth gear 
and this one is a 29 tooth gear that's about all that I've got time for this weekend but in the next video we'll be finishing off this shaft when the shaft is cut to length here both ends will be drilled and tapped and then there'll be a keyway for this gear in the end there this sliding gear will have four keys in it every 90 degrees around this these two gears will have a key in it and then each gear will have one key cut in these this one and these two and the sliding gear will have four keyways cut in it so it will slide on the four keys in the shaft also what we'll do we'll be having a look at this this will be the crankshaft so all this I'll have to mark that out that'll be fun and machine the crankshaft so please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a two inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine